that's a good height. All right, so the, my hair is crazy. Let me just pop my hood. There we go. Um, the dogs woke me up a little bit early this morning. This is like the fifth or sixth day here. I'm not really sure I've lost track. Anyways, I'm gonna do the normal trail that I've been learning here. And we're gonna do it at, uh, well, I'm gonna be up by 7 a.m. Sunrise was at 6.22. So I'm getting out there a little later than I wanted, but it's all right. All right, I haven't gone out in the morning on a hike in ages. I don't know what we're gonna find out here. Hopefully everything. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna try to guess what I'm gonna find because I could find nothing. Or maybe we're about to get all the wildlife. Oh yeah, but what I didn't say, today is supposed to be a high of 22 degrees and some extreme weather alerts later tonight. So, <laughs> could be interesting, I don't know. All right, so I think I'll get to the end of the trail right here, this like entranceway. Then I'll get my camera out and uh, we'll see what we see. I'm up early, so I'm hoping to see the deer. I still can't believe I saw a deer on my very first day while I was out walking the dogs. And I've been trying all week and I haven't seen one. I haven't, but I haven't tried early in the morning and it's probably a little more likely to find them in the morning. But what do I know? I don't ever see deer. <laughs> Guess what I did? I forgot to bring my card. Okay, I got 72% battery and no SD card. Thankfully, oops, I have the one from my A6000. Yeah, well that sucks. The one I just put in my camera is a little bit slower and it has been doing some sketchy things recently where it doesn't seem to be all that reliable and it could crash at any moment. But you know what? It'll get me through the day. All right, not to sound greedy or anything, but there's gotta be more than chickadees out here. I can film these guys, or I can take photos of these guys back at home. Plus those chickadees were not cooperating and I was just like totally failing. Way steeper in person, but that is a cool view. I tried to get some shots where it zoomed out and then somewhere it zoomed in. So on this shot, this is probably my Instagram shot. A little bit of noise, we'll clean that up. But I thought that was pretty good. Did I get one with, yep, I did. Okay, I like this one better because of the, the two ears pointed forward. That's sweet. Okay, I am really happy I came out this morning. 
uh, because like that's my best deer shot yet. Although I do really like my first photo I've ever gotten of a deer, but that was at sunset and it was not a very good close-up photo. Not like right off the trail or anything, but taking the, the trail less traveled definitely pays off. I found something a little different than I would back home. That's a deer again. I'm taking the photo. They just look dead. They're I dead. I swear a second ago they were moving, guys. They were fighting. They're just staring it off right now. That's what we're looking for. Sarah just gasped. She's very excited about her first bird spot. The great blue heron, straight ahead. <laughs> well, the moment I got over to the spot, like I'm not even that close. I was being very quiet, didn't approach too quickly, but that heron took off to the other end. Uh, I guess if he's got all this space, why does he want to be near me? capture some cool photos. Switch it up a little bit today and get some landscape shots. So we're at this awesome waterfall spot. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm trying to do a long exposure but my tripod is broken or something. This will not turn beyond this point and everything's loosened on it. So we're trying to figure out if there's like a hidden lock mechanism that I've hit. I don't know what's wrong with it. It sucks though. Okay, so pretty cool waterfall but I, I have no way of doing long exposures with my camera, which sucks. And also, it seems like you've gotta be a pretty advanced rock climber to get down to the actual bottom of it. Well, that didn't go to plan, but we gotta get back, get home with the dogs and uh, cook up some dinner. I mean, it's still a really cool waterfall. I've been trying to, like, I've wanted to take a long exposure of a proper waterfall since I started up my photography. And uh, it just really, it was really disappointing to get out here. And finally, Sarah's like, hey, is that, a, is that enough of a waterfall for you? I'm like, yeah, it is. 